it jumps up for the Bears. Wes Preble with the basketball. Over to Gary O'Leary, back to Todd Zinkula. West Preble up with the shot and good. The Bears take it early, 2-0 late on West Preble jumper. Quickly on the pressure applied by the Bears. And the by Stout and Hirschman picks it up for the Bears. West Pribble playing point guard for the Bears, brings the basketball up, looks down to Hurston on the baseline. Looking underneath, trying to get it to Stout. Zinkel open for the three-point try, it is perfect. Three-pointer by Todd Zinkula, senior, being honored earlier here tonight. Back the Tigers quickly back down. Looking underneath, wide open outside, and we've got a walking violation. Now going against Scotty McLaughlin, Tigers. Zinkula with the basketball, looks down to Hirschman. Back out to West Pribble to set the offense. Hirschman on the baseline. Pribble cross court to Zinkula. He's open for the three and he traveled. Tigers get the ball on the turnover. First turnover made by the Bears and the zone press works. Hirschman knocks it away and we've got an early foul against Jeremy Henley as first the team's first. West Pribble inbounds to Gary O'Leary. And West Pribble with the basketball now. Back out to O'Leary, top of the key, gets it Stout. Stout underneath to Zinkula, O'Leary open, free throw line jumper, just off. Stout with the big rebound underneath, puts it up and just in and out, and Hirschman gets the rebound and he's fouled. Foul's going against Arlen Moore, who checked into the ball game. That'll be the team's second and Moore's first. Zinkula looks the inbounds. Gets it out top to John Hirschman. Bears won the fresh soft game earlier tonight, 58-44 over the Tigers. O'Leary over to Zinkula. Back down to Hirschman, he's wide open for three along the baseline. Rebound, and a foul's gonna go against Wes Pribble. This will be his first foul and the team's first. Tigers inbound, early five, nothing lead with by the Bears with six minutes remaining in this first half, first quarter. And a timeout is taken by Tipton. better than they did Tuesday night against Clear Creek. Ball's kicked. And Tipton will retain possession. Mount the basketball. Underneath, I have traveled, no call. Basket's good by Mike Elijah. And the Tigers are on the board. 7-2, bear lead. Stout can't hang on to the pass, and the Tigers quickly come back with it. Bears still in the 3-2 zone. They get it underneath. Knocked away by Hirschman. Stout picks it up. Back to Hirschman. Bears playing excellent defense thus far. West Purple down to John Hirschman. Up top to Gary O'Leary and Todd Zinkula. Hirschman running the baseline. He's open. Gets it back to O'Leary. Underneath Zinkula. Wide open free throw line. No can't hit. And the Tigers clear it out. Quickly back down. Jeremy. 
Jimmy Henley with the basketball. This is it. Harlan Moore. Back to Scott McLaughlin. Moore with it. McLaughlin. Scott McLaughlin with the basketball right now. This is to Harlan Moore. Third place, 15 so far. Tipton being very patient. Down 7 2 early on. He's in trouble there, may walk, good no call. Underneath, big time move, that's Mike Lyon, and he's got all four of Tipton's points thus far. 7-4 now, Bears with the lead. Quickly, here's Gary O'Leary, and he's fouled. A blocking call against Scott McLaughlin will be his first and the team's third of the first half. for Richie Stout on the baseline. And we've got a three-second call on Rich Stout underneath. Turnover. Tipton basketball. Tigers up four. Bears looking for that zone press. They've got him on the baseline and a block call against Todd Zinkula. His first. Tigers thus far tonight, and they break it there. Tipton showing good patience on the offensive end. Underneath Elijah. Gets it back underneath, and we've got a travel on Tipton. Underneath a blocking foul was a glove in this second. Grim shooting the one and one. First one's up and good. There's a second foul on Scotty McLaughlin. He leads the ball game. Just a little bit off by Grim. 10 4 lead Bears. He was replaced by Rob Flip for the Tigers. Look right back down. Right, another turnover. Pribble inbounds to Stout, back to Pribble and over to O'Leary. Gary O'Leary with the basketball. Tipton over to Scotty. Richie Stout, excuse me. He almost traveled, gets it in. It's Stout back out to Zinkula. He may have walked. No. Underneath the Stout, nice play. Give the assist to Todd Zinkula and the basket to Rich Stout. And it could be another travel, another no call. Quickly, the Tigers can't hit. Could be a walk. Travel not being called tonight. Tigers with the basketball. A little panicky. O'Leary almost knocks the ball away. Underneath, that's Rob Glick. Glick losing shit. Can't get the shot off. That's number 23. That was Mitch Brenna. Bears with the 12 4 lead with one minute left in the first quarter. Down court. Good move around Mitch Braddock for the two, and the Bears take a 10 point lead here in the first quarter. There's Mitch Braddock, three point try. Whoosh. Beautiful looking jumper by Braddock there. And here's JD Grimm, and stepped out of bounds. Now as we're down to 15. 
Now we're down to 10. And an offensive foul will be called against Jeremy Henley, a second. Flips the Bears inbounds away. Five seconds to Rich Stout. Mate forces the shot a little early and uses the board. And the Bears will lead 16 7 at the end of the first period of play. a foul called against Mike Elijah is first. Tipton crowd not real happy with that call. I thought it was a good call there. Bears did have position on him. Stout was called for a foul. Here come the Tigers. Knocked away by Hirschman. McLaughlin with it. Short. Can't hit. And he's going to get. The foul is going to be in Scott McLaughlin, his third. Right now, shooting one and one. First one's up and through. That was the third foul on Scott McLaughlin. He'll sit down for quite a while now. Ford's being in foul trouble, and he is. Stout, a little bit short on the second shot. Turn around there. That's down to six. 17-11. Bear lead. With just under six minutes left in the second quarter. Gary O'Leary far outside. Gets to Todd Zinkula. Zinkula over to Tony Lineskis. Back out to Zinkula. He'll put up the jumper off the back of the Gets to O'Leary. He's outside. It's the jumper. Perfect. Nice looking shot by Gary O'Leary. Mitch 
Braddock with it. Kept him working the perimeter. Still working. Braddock with the basketball. Tries to Lopez. Puts it back out. Kept the big rotation on offense. This is what they need to do. And another offensive foul. That'll go against Mike Elijah, his second. That's about the third offensive foul called against Tipton. The Bears are getting position tonight. Not to mention a little acting's going on, it looks from here. And the Bears with on the offense. West Pribble with it over to Gary O'Leary to Todd Zinkel with the jumper. Off the back of the rim, no good. Lineskis fights for the rebound, can't get it. Knocked outside, Lineskis picks it up underneath the Hirschman. He may have been fouled, he is. Cut the basket. And that'll go against Mitch Braddock's his first. That's good. The Bears have doubled the score on Tipton Lee. 22 to 11. Four minutes left in his first. Basketball. He's playing point guard for the Tigers tonight. Um, that is Mike Elijah up top. Underneath, Arlen Moore. Up top, Mitch Braddock. Underneath, Glick. He's having a bad night. Rob Glick with the turnover. And the Bears all inbound. Todd Zinkula looking inbound. One of the seniors on this ball club. J.D. Grimm. And he steps out of bounds. Turnover. Ball will go over the top. J.D. Grimm over Mitch Braddock with it for the Tigers. They look underneath. Glick up top. Underneath Elijah. No basket. Traveling. Not a popular call. Tipton trying to apply their own zone pressure. Not very successful tonight with that. John Hirschman with it. Gets underneath. J.D. Gr uh, that's West Pribble, excuse me. Pribble with the basketball now. Hirschman over to Zinkiel underneath. Perfect. It's now 26-13. And Tipton's going to take a timeout with 2.06 left. 26-13, West Branch. To resume. up the shot. And in. Next move by Braddock. That's what Tipton needs. Zinkiel with the basketball. That pressure seems to be bothering him a little bit. They get it down to West Pribble. Pribble will drive baseline. Underneath the basket. Nice move by West Pribble for the reverse play in. Yet again, Tipton in trouble with that zone press and Pribble picks up off his 
Mike Elijah shooting one and one. First one up and through, 28-16 now. 132 left in the first half. Tipton has made their free throws thus far tonight. It gets it to John Hirschman. Down to Gary O'Leary. First three, no good up the back of the rim. Tipton clears it out. Quickly the Tigers bring the ball up. Elijah with the basketball. Looking down baseline, Braddock. Braddock will put up the shot and good. It's Braddock and they've got it under nine. That's what you want to do. You Tipton, you want to keep the score under ten, 10 points at halftime. If so, it's a big advantage considering how well West Branch has played in this first half. Well, it's Preble with it over to Richie Stout. Stout underneath the Hirschman. Hirschman will move off the glass and in. It wasn't pretty, but it gets the job done. John Hirschman. Team West Branch, the Tipton fans are not pleased with the officiating in the first half. Hirschman drives inside the lane, can't hit. Bad shot, Stout has inside position, puts her up and in. 15 seconds left, 32-19. Tipton will take their one shot, nine seconds left. If they can get it over, Braddock drives, dishes it out. Arlen Moore up the back of the rim, no good, and that'll end the first half. West Branch leads it 32-19 at halftime. And we're back underway in the second half. Gary picked up a foul. His first and a traveling call against the Tigers. by Gary O'Leary and it's 34-21 seven minutes left in the third quarter action Pribble fights for it gets it turnover Tipton O'Leary with the basketball gets it to Zinkley forces it up no good rebound Tipton Tigers on the move Tigers cannot afford to get into a running game with West Branch that's what got them in trouble with streaks in that first half O'Leary kicks the ball out of bounds Tipton will retain possession Once again, the Tigers are hitting those free throws. They've cut it to 10, 34-24. West Purple with the basketball over half court. They've carried it a little bit. Good no call. Purple drives, dishes to Rich Stout. Stout 
Mount Kane get it. Little contact, no call. Two players went down and another kick. O'Leary. Tigers get the basketball win with the ball. Jeremy Henley on the outside with Scotty McLaughlin. McLaughlin to Mitch Braddock underneath. Henley has it knocked it away by Gary O'Leary. The Tigers will retain possession. And the Bears with it. Todd Dinkle up over half court. Looking for someone to get it to. Gets it to O'Leary. O'Leary in the baseline down to Hirschman. Trying to get it in to Richie Stout. He gets it up and in. Nice move by Stout and a nice job by O'Leary to get it to him. Here come the Tigers right back. 36-24 now. Trying to get the ball over half court. Having a few problems. They get it across. Braddock with it. Drives. Dishes it off. Down on baseline. Can't hit. Stout goes right over the top of and he will pick up the personal, his third personal foul. Has picked up four quick team fouls here in the first half. That could be a factor as Kipton has hit their free throw. Stout knocks the ball out of bounds. Kipton retaining possession, trying to get the ball in. They've had a few problems doing that tonight. Up top, they'll work the offense. Trailing by 12. Stout has three could be a factor later on in the ball game. Nice job by Jeremy, knock the basketball away. Mitch Braddock will try the three-pointer off the front of the rim, can't hit. Elijah with it, can and he's fouled by J.D. Grimm. Looked like he got all ball, but that'll be Grimm's first foul. J.D. Grimm underneath with the hoop. 38-25 now, Bears with the lead. They'll try and put the press on him. West Branch has been pressing the whole ball game. Tipton breaks it, Braddock with it. He'll force the jumper up a little bit short. Battle for the board. Elijah comes up with it, and Tipton scores. Cuts it down to 11-point lead now. Gary O'Leary with the basketball. Gets it to Richie Stout. Stout back to O'Leary. O'Leary working the ball inside to Stout. Right back out to O'Leary. He'll look to shoot the three, gets it back into Stout. Stout gets it to O'Leary on the baseline. Thinks about three drives. Gets it off to Stout underneath and good. Nice play by Gary O'Leary and Richie Stout. O'Leary getting the basketball to Stout down underneath. Here come the Tigers right back. They are not getting transition baskets. West Branch gets it back and Grimm knocks the ball out of bounds. Tigers with the basketball, Mitch Braddock, he'll drive, shoot, in and out, can't hit, Tony Alaskas clears it for the Bears, gets it to Gary O'Leary, O'Leary up floor over the top of the court line, with drives, dishes off, he's going to get called for the charge there, good call, O'Leary second, being a player control foul, Tipton will not be shooting free throws, even though that is the fifth team foul. Tigers right back, down trailing by 13, 40 27. Braddock with it, tries to draw the foul on Hirschman, cannot do so. Wide open for three, and perfect. That is Scott McLaughlin, who was in early foul trouble, and they've cut it to 10, 40 30. Tipton crowd trying to pick their team up right here, and here's JD Grimm. Bears need to answer right back with their own. Hirschman driving baseline, hits. 42-30 now. And Tipton will look to call timeout with three minutes left. West Branch lead, 42-30.
Tigers with it. That is Jeremy Henley with the basketball getting it to Mike Elijah. Elijah brings it up. Court against Pribble. They get it out to McLaughlin for another three. A little bit short. Lineskis with the rebound. Almost travels. Gets it to Wes Pribble. Pribble up the floor. Starts to have court line to Gary O'Leary. Trying to get the ball underneath to Rich Stout. Back out to O'Leary. Wide open for the three point try. A little bit short. Follows his own shot and gets the basketball right back. Gets it to Wes Pribble. O'Leary's got to take that shot when he's open. He's open once again, won't take it. Pribble with the basketball. Gets it to O'Leary. Working underneath. Rich Stout gets it to J.D. Grimm. He's hammered and puts it in. Count the basket. J.D. Grimm foul Arlen Moore is third. Nice play by J.D. Grimm. He forced it up a little bit, but he was fouled on the play and got her to go. He'll be shooting one. Just a sophomore, very promising future for this young man. Shot up, in and out. 44-30, Bears with the lead at the 2-10 mark in the third quarter. But quickly, Mitch Braddock right back off the back of the rim. Stout clears with the rebound, gets it to Wes Cribble. Cribble will push the ball up for the Bears. Looking to get it underneath. Cribble with it, over to O'Leary out to Rich Stout. Stout looking underneath, can't get it to anyone. J.D. Grimm with it. O'Leary. That's Tony Lineskis. Back to Rich Stout. Bears showing good patience here. West Pribble underneath. No shot. And the foul is going to go against Jeremy Henley, his fourth person. Jeremy Henley with four personal fouls for the Tigers. Bears lead by 14. Lineskis with it. Drives inside the lane. He's stripped. There's a foul going to go on, and it's going to go against Mitch Braddock. That'll be his third. Tony Lineskis will look to shoot two here. And that's the third team, fourth team foul against the Tigers. Both teams will be shooting one and one the rest of the way. Lineskis shot up and in and out, can't hit it. You've got to hit your free throws down the stretch if you're Tipton has hit there as the Bears have not shot too well from the free throw line thus far tonight. Second shot way short. Tigers pick up the loose ball. Quick layup. Here's Arlen Moore. Underneath baseline, Mitch Branagh. Stout cuts him off. Get it out top to Moore. And a three second in the lane violation. It'll be a West Branch basketball. Plus Pribble over to Tony Lineskis. Lineskis so pumped to bring it up. Now he gets it to Stout. Stout, Grimm, down floor. Wide open, can't hit. A beautiful job by Tony Lineskis flying through the lane with a little tip in. 46-30, the Bears up by 16. One minute left in the third quarter. Tipton's got to score here, an important possession for them. They've got to cut this lead down. Arlen Moore is a, just the person to do it as he hits the outside jumper. 46-32, Bears. Out to Pribble. Pribble up floor. Quickly. He walked. Either he carried or he traveled. He carried it. Tipton turns the basketball over. They force a pass underneath. And 35 seconds left in this third quarter. If West Branch can score here, Tipton will be in a lot of trouble. Stout gets it back to West Pribble. Pribble up to Lineskis at half court. They get it over Pribble. Under 30 seconds left. Gets it to Gary O'Leary. They'll go for one shot now. 20 seconds left in the clock. Underneath, Lineskis has it stripped. Not a good play by the Bears. They force underneath. Moore. Nice dish off to Elijah, and he'll put it up and in. 46 34. Big basket by the Tigers. They've cut it to 12. We're down to five seconds left. Purple forces up an earth, too quick of a shot. Lineskis lets it burst home with one second left. Tony Lineskis will go to the line, shooting one and one for the Bears. They lead 46-34. One second left in this third quarter. Lineskis just was at the line, did not hit either free throw, and did not look very good doing it. 
shot in and out, and that'll be the end of the third quarter. And we've got another foul called. This is a foul, a foul will go against West Preble, and the Tigers will shoot one and one here before the end of the third quarter. Arlen Moore with the free throw. Can't hit it, and that'll be the end of our third quarter. West Branch leads it 46 34. Elijah forced a shot up, can't hit. Stout had the rebound and it stripped. And a jump ball, it'll belong to West Branch on the alternating possession. 7.43 left in the game. Kazinka with the basketball, looking to bring it up. He all of a sudden picks up his dribble. They better get it across here in a hurry. Oh, and he traveled. Bears should not use their heads bringing the ball up that time. He was Zinkula picking up his dribble there. And Kipkin with the basketball trailing by 12. Seven and a half left in this game. And baseline jumper no good. And we've got a foul is going to go against the Bears, I believe. Todd Zinkula will pick up the first and off his second foul. And Tipton will be shooting free throws. and picks up the loose ball. May have traveled there, no call. Braddock for three, perfect. Mitch Braddock, the sweet looking jumper, they've cut it to 11, 48-37, it ain't over yet. Rich Stout with it, down to Gary O'Leary. Nearly fouled there, O'Leary gets it to West Pribble. Pribble with it. Tipton in a 2-3 zone underneath the Stout. He puts it up and in. Richie Stout, 50-37, six minutes left in the basketball game. Quickly, here come the Tigers. Back down, Mike Elijah hits for two. Gary O'Leary with it. Quickly, here come the Bears. Tipton's playing West Branch's game as the Bears will slow it down a little bit. Now they're playing a matchup 2-3. Stout with it may have walked. Gets it back out to O'Leary. Underneath the rich Stout, back to O'Leary. He's open on the baseline, gets down to Stout. Forces a shot up, could have, was blocked. Here comes Mike Elijah quickly. Tries to get it to Mitch Brown. Knocked away by John Hirschman, and the Tigers will hang on to the basketball here. 5.29 left, Bears claiming that 11-point lead. They've been keeping it above 10 for quite a while. If Tipton can get it under 10, they will have a chance, and they know this. 
And yet again, an offensive foul will be called against Scott McLaughlin, his fourth personal. And quickly here come the Bears. That's Gary O'Leary with it. He forces it out, not a smart play there. Bears will fight for the ball. Comes up with Mitch Braddock and Sean Hirschman will pick up the personal, his second foul. short by Braddock. Rick Stout does a nice job screening out and picks up the basketball. O'Leary with it. The Bears will be patient now, I would hope. Underneath the Rich Stout. Back out to J.D. Grimm. Underneath the Stout. Back to Grimm. Grimm will drive baseline. He'll be fouled. Sticking the leg out will be Arlen Moore, and that'll be his fifth personal foul. He's fouled out of the ball game. With 4.57 left, Arlen Moore fouls out for the Tigers. Him will be Jeremy Henley, another person with four fouls. So shooting for the Bears will be J.D. Grimm shooting one and one. Shot up and good. Grimm a good free throw shooter, only a sophomore. Stout puts it up and in. 55-43, 310 left. Tip, he's got to hit the three-pointer, and the person to do that has got to be Mitch Brock, number 23. Or Scott McLaughlin. McLaughlin, short jumper, can't hit. O'Leary cleans it out, and the Bears will have to be patient at this point. Got a foul called. That'll go against Mike Elijah, his fourth personal. Tipton is in foul trouble. So JD Grimm will go to the line, shooting one and one for the Bears. As the Bears have to knock off Tipton Monday night, they will play Thursday night at 7 o'clock against the winner of the Durant Regina game. And if Durant doesn't win that ball game, it'd be a total mystery. Grimm puts it up and in. Iowa City Regina having a very down year. Be very strong next year either. Grimm's 
second shot up and good. 57-43, it bears with a 14-point lead, 2.45 left. There's Mitch Braddock, he's the guy you gotta look for, and the Bears commit a dumb foul there. Todd Zinkola will commit the foul, his third. has the ball knocked away, Stout with it. Tries to force it underneath the Zinkula. Not a smart play there. Quickly, here come the Tigers. With the, and Elijah cannot hit. All ball there, Braddock puts it up and through. 57-45 now, just under the two minute mark, 150 left. Stout with the basketball now. 12 point lead by the Bears. Here's John Hirschman with the Todd Zinkula. The Bears will have to pull it out and use clock now. I wouldn't even look to shoot if I was West Branch. I make Tiffin come out and follow me right now. And the Tigers are still in a zone. It's an aggressive zone, but it still is a zone defense. Hirschman with over to Grimm. Grimm with it. Looks, got to get rid of it. Gets to Hirschman back to Grimm. 125 left. Tiffin not fouling. I don't know why. Grimm with it. He'll get it to O'Leary. Gary O'Leary at the basketball gets it to Todd Zinkula. The Bears are running all their offense outside that free throw line. 110 left. Grimm looking to drive a little bit. Pulls it back out, gets it to O'Leary. Bears showing good patience here, using the clock. O'Leary drives, gets it to Zinkula. Nice hoop. And it's 59-45. We just went under the one-minute mark. Quickly back with it. Here come the Tigers. McLaughlin will have to try three. A bomb off the back of the rim. No good. O'Leary picks it up. And you can finally say you can pass in the song books on this one. Timeout taken by West Branch. 42 seconds left. Look out now. The Bears have put the reserve. Shinker with the basketball now. Another one of the seniors, J.J. Smith with it, probably carried it underneath Rick Francisco. He gets hammered. 34 seconds left, and Francisco will get a chance to score in this game as the foul goes on Rob Shoemaker, his first personal. Tipton has also put in some of their reserves. And Francisco has an opportunity to score. here the foul was not on shoemaker it went against mike elijah his fifth he played the fine ball game tonight for the tigers francisco throws up a brick francisco trying to get into the scorebook tonight 59 45 shot up and through bears hit the 60 mark 60 45 34 seconds left 
Shoemaker with the basketball for Tipton. Pulls up, get it to Braddock. Braddock, a three-point shooting whiz. They get it to Glick. Rob Glick can't hit. Messenger battles for the rebound. Matt Messenger picks it up. Shanker hits the floor. A couple of players hit the floor. Troy Shanker with it. Gets it up floor. J.J. Smith going to drive on Rob Glick. Can't hit. Battle for the rebound. Francisco puts it up. Can't hit it. And Glick hits his own player with a vicious elbow. And Smith picks up a foolish foul with two seconds left. 60-45. Mitch Braddock shooting one and one for the Tigers. And it puts it through 60-46. J.J. Smith picked up the first foul, and that'll probably be his only foul. There's only two seconds left remaining in this basketball game. The Bears have played a fine game this evening. Braddock can't hit the jumper. And caught the basket. Once again, the final score for the West Branch, 60, Tipton 48.